Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl Super League. So this is an idea I've had for a while. Um, I've always wanted like a streamer league with like the biggest and best streamers uh, all playing each other in a, in a, you know, some kind of format. And I also really like Blitz Pit, which, uh, you know, one minute turns, uh, resurrection and kind of low TV builds. And then when the, when the Football Super League didn't happen, I thought, you know what, let, let's, let's copy that and go with the Blood Bowl Super League. So uh, I've managed to get 14, 14 of the biggest and best streamers together. Um, so we're going to be in two groups, playing like a round robin between the seven teams. Then there'll be a cup, the top two will cut to semi-finals and then a final to see who the champion is. So first up we've got Group A, we've got Kanor with Skaven. Obviously Kanor, the, the granddaddy of them all, uh, he's the, you know, long, been streaming the longest Blood Bowl. And, uh, you know, he's a massive, massive name. Crucifer with Elven Union. Crucifer has won CCL five times. Absolute legend in that. Elliot has qualified for CCL with every race. He's in with Orcs. Fatin with Elven Union. Um, he really loves Elven Union. Really good with him. Uh, you know, top streamer. Gdanik invented Blitzpit um, and he's won CCL twice. He's bringing humans. Rick Reckless, absolute legend. Obviously, everyone loves him. Nicest guy in Blood Bowl. He's taking Augers. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just won CCL as well, so there you go, he's in August. Um, Shawnee has won CCL before, he's won Blitzbit before, um, and he's taken humans. So yeah, it's a nice spread of races here, the, the elves, the skaven, the humans, you know, um, interesting. And then uh, Group B, <laughs> uh, we've got Andy Davo, of course, everyone knows him streaming. He's uh, he's won Blitzpit before and he uh, hasn't done as well in CCL, but you know. Uh, Calcium Kaz has done great in, <laughs> he's done great in uh, PS4 CCL, but he's a great streamer, hugely entertaining. He's in with humans. Dionysian has won Blitzpit three times. He's won, uh, you know, Chalice CCL. Um, he's won Dome, he's just won everything, he's brilliant at Blood Bowl, and he's in with Chaos Dwarves. We've got Inarian, he's won CCL twice, he's in with Halflings. I thought he'd been bringing the Wood Elves that he's most famous for, but he does like Halflings as well. Um, I, Jimmy Fantastic, I've played a little bit, I'm in with Boring Dwarves. Mr. Page 404 is a huge name in the streaming, he's in with Dwarves. And Purple Chest is very famous for Dwarves, and he's in with Dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go that that's it and uh, we can have a look at the teams actually in client so here we go um, so that, all, as you can see all the teams are around 1250 there's no there's no inducements for TV difference um, so yeah Gdani humans he's got four guard might go tackler um, just go really quickly over these. Uh, the thing, the thing was, like this is the problem, like with elves have right. Uh, there's a bit of stacking, so you've got Kanor there with a block roger, um, and and the stacking really put off the elf. I think you know, there's no wood elves in this, only one dark elf. Um, loads of guard for Elliot here, and a tackle blitzer. Um, and you know, it's quite a, quite a good format for humans. Humans get an extra skills, and the stack means they can get a mighty blow tackler. And they can get up to five guard, like Shawnee here. So I guess technically could have six, but Shawnee's basically gone max guard um, with his humans. Um, Fatin's stacked a mighty blow tackler as well. Um, some dodge, some wrestle, guarder. Uh, Crucifer has just gone dodge on his blitzers and stacked a blodge catcher, and then lots of wrestle. Uh, interesting. And then Rick, <laughs> Rick with the, 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 you know, tier three was helped a lot. So he's got seven doubles on his team, six block ogres and a leader ogre. Um, it's interesting, you know, hopefully, hopefully he can win a game. <laughs> uh, I think, I think he could, you know, he could surprise some people with some, some good results. Um, and then in group B, we've got Dio with stacking the Mighty Blow Claw. I mean, that's really good, isn't it, for Chofs being able to uh, stack the Mighty Blow Claw. Only four guard and one's on a bull. Like, the problem is not stacking skills on bulls with, with Chofs. They really want bulls skills stacked. He has Purple Chest with four guards, Mighty Blow Longbeard for the Mighty Blow Tackle, and a uh, Block Runner. So yeah, so like basically every team can have Mighty Blow Tackle if they want it. And I expected Humans and Dwarfs to be very popular. 
He has Calcium with Mighty Blow Tackle, Blitzer, Three Guard, two couple of blockers. Um, so that made Wood Elves and Dark Elves not as good. Uh, well, not as attractive. I mean, they're still good, right? Still powerful. Here's a Nari. A Nari could cause some upsets with this team. This is a frightening team, actually. Two Block Tree Men, a Block Sure Hands Halfling, uh, two Dirty Players. He's also got Puggy Bacon Breath and a Halfling Chef. So it's actually really, he could definitely win a few with Inari and he could definitely cause some upsets. Uh, Mr. Page has gone with a Death Roller. <laughs> uh, four Guard and two Mighty Blows. So this is a very rowdy team. You know, he could definitely do things with that. Um, my team is actually exactly the same as Purple Chests with a Four Guard, a Mighty Blow. Uh, Longbeard and a block runner to protect against dancers that don't exist because literally nobody has gone with wood elves. Uh, Devo's team is not filled in yet because he's going to name it after views and stuff, but there's two rerolls, an apothecary, um, a witch elf with wrestle, a witch elf with block, three blitzers all with dodge, a runner with dodge, and then the rest alignment up to 11. Um, it's an absolutely standard dark elf like tabletop tournament team. And, you know, he's, he's got a bit of a hard draw in that he got all the four Dwarven teams in his group, but that was the risk for Elves, and I guess it's why no one took Wood Elves. You know, there was going to be a lot of Mighty Blow Tackle, the way the format works. Um, which, you know, it's it's fair enough, right? Like, that that was always the thing, so it balances out, the, I guess, kind of like the raw power of Wood Elves and uh, Dark Elves. Interesting, nobody went with... Lizardmen, which are also then nobody with went with undead, which are like a monster team normally in these kind of low TV formats. So that's very interesting. So yeah, hopefully we're going to get a lot of good games. Uh, one minute turns, so that's going to be super exciting, and uh, it's going to be great for viewers. And obviously all you know, most of the big names there. I did invite pretty much everybody, um, and we've got we've got 14. So hopefully it'll go. You know, it'll be a great success and go from strength to strength in future. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.